Hey guys, what's up? Now before I go on, I have to apologize that I haven't made a video in at least a week or so. My editing computer is still out of commission, but my dad has been gracious enough to let me use his computer, to which thank you dad. But as you guys could probably tell by the title of this video, this is not a movie review or a game review, a top 5, or even a news video, which I haven't done one of those in a while. But instead, this is a story time video, and I normally wouldn't do a video like this. However, a couple of days ago, I found out something that blew my mind so much so that I just... I I have to talk to you guys about this. So the story starts back in 2016 when I was still in film school. Now this was, I would say, about a month or two before summer started. This was probably around April or May, somewhere around that time length. And at my film school, a couple of months before summer would start, the film department would throw together this contest, and basically the contest was that if you wrote a script together, if you submitted it before a timeline, if your script was chosen, you would be able to direct a feature film in the summertime. I believe your shoot time was about three to four weeks, somewhere around there. So one day when I was on my way to class, my friend who was walking with me mentioned to me that a script that she had pitched to the film department had been chosen for the feature film contest. And I said to her, congratulations. And she mentioned to me that when she was going through the roles, she thought that I'd be perfect for the lead role. And I said, interesting. And, and she asked me if I'd be interested in probably auditioning. And I said, you know what? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. So she told me that she would send me the script that night. And she told me to basically come in the next day and read a few lines from like two scenes. So when I got home, I read the script. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, the script was really cheesy. It was formulaic. It was can be. And it basically felt like every other teenage comedy done in the past like decade or so but at the same time i thought you know what having just any experience whether you're on set or post-production or even pre-production is better than having no experience whatsoever so of course i met with her the next day wrote a couple of lines to her and she read back a few lines with me she told me after i read that she loved what i did and she asked me if i would come in for a second audition and read against a couple of other people and i said yeah sure that sounds fun so a couple days after that in the morning i came into school once again and i read again some people who are actually good friends of mine who would be playing as the bully or the antagonist and the antagonist friends the read went absolutely fantastic and she loved it so much that she not only loved what I did, but she loved what the other three did. And then she asked if I would come in for one more audition. Basically, she said, come to my place and read against a couple of other actors, and I will really see if I want to cast you in this or not. And I said, not a problem. So I go to her place, and this house, I'm telling you guys right now, it was like a fucking mansion. I mean, it was massive. So I go in and I find out that I believe I was the either the second or third person to meet for the audition. So I first started reading with the person who plays my mother. It was actually two people. One of them got cast. And then I also read against the person who be playing as my father who also got cast in the film. A really cool guy who I met in my directing class. Then about an hour or so, another person came in. And it turns out that it was the guy who I read against a couple days prior who would be playing as the entire antagonist role unfortunately he was not cast as the antagonist although he would have been an amazing fit for it then the final person i was reading against was actually the person that would be playing the love interest who was such a cool girl i really wish that she was cast in this because i feel like that she would have been amazing then after that we were all just shooting the shit having a great time just talking we read through a couple of more scenes we all had great chemistry with another and after we left the director said you know what i think you're perfect and i want you to play in this role not just me but my friend who was going to play as the love interest and my other friend who was going to play as the antagonist. And she said, I'll give you guys a call in the next week. We should start shooting in the next like week and a half or the next two and a half weeks. And I said, awesome. So cut to a week later, I get a text from the director saying, hey, do you have a minute to talk? And I said, absolutely. So she called me and she said, hey, how are you doing? And I said, I'm doing well. And then she said, well, I have some bad news, unfortunately. And I said, oh, no, what's going on? And she mentioned to me that while she loved what I was doing and she wants me to be the film because she thought I was absolutely perfect for what she was looking for, the producers want someone with more experience. To which I did understand because I don't have a lot of acting experience, as you guys have noticed. If you have seen my short films, I only acted in one of them, which was the portrait but other than that, I prefer to be behind the camera directing or even helping out with cinematography or just even some on-set rewrites. But other than that, 
I have little to no experience, even though that apparently everyone loved what I was doing with this character. So then I got an email asking from her if I wanted to be an extra, and I said sure, but it turned out it was conflicting because I had something else going on the days that they were shooting, so I had to unfortunately decline. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was a little upset by it at first because I was looking forward to working with my friends on the set, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? I have other things going on right now and, and I just cannot do it anyways. So then a couple of years later, I believe this was like what, four or five days ago, somewhere around there. I go on my Facebook and a person who I had met who was an actor on a short film for a student film at my film school, I post the picture posting her credit on a film and I saw the title name swiped and I just thought, why does this sound so familiar? And then I watch the trailer, I hear Jungle, which was basically, well, to give you guys a little synopsis on the plot, basically it follows a character who goes to college, and this person named Lance, who was supposed to be played by my friend at the time, he was played by in the film Noah Centineo, I think his name is, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but basically this guy named Lance hires James to make an app called Jungle, which is supposed to be the biggest hookup app possible out there. So then when I heard Jungle, it clicked and I just thought, holy crap, the film actually got made. So then I go on Netflix, and I'm not even joking with you guys, I go down to buy a few titles, and I see that this movie, Swiped, was picked up by Netflix. So I just want to repeat this real quick. I was this close to being in a film that was picked up by Netflix. By fucking Netflix. <laughs> Seriously, that blew my mind. And I actually texted my friend who was supposed to be playing James's love interest, who James's was supposed to be the character I was going to play. Oh, and by the way, in case if you guys are wondering, this is the guy who was cast in the role that I was supposed to be playing. But I texted her saying, okay, this is going to blow your mind. Remember that one film we were going to be cast in, but we didn't get cast at the last second? And she said, oh, yeah. And I said, well, guess what? That film was on Netflix now. And she said, wait, what? But it just, again, I'm going to say this once again. It blows my mind that I was that close to being in a feature film that was picked up by possibly... Or no, not possibly, but the biggest streaming service out there. And if you guys are curious about checking this movie out, I'll leave a link in the description below. The movie is called Swipe. It's on Netflix now. So once again, if you do want to check it out, link is right below. Go ahead and check it out if you are curious. Alrighty, guys, and that's going to do it for my story time for when I was almost on a film that was picked up by Netflix. Guys, please comment down. Let me know below. Let me know if you enjoyed the story time or if you want to hear more in the future like this this one please let me know below this was actually a lot of fun to talk about if you guys want to follow me on social media i'm on facebook twitter instagram twitch i'm also on snapchat and stardust so if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms all the links in the museums are in the description below i hope you guys enjoyed my little story time video if so please hit that like button share and subscribe also don't forget to hit that notification bell for whenever a new video goes live if you guys want to see any of my previous two videos please click either right there or there and of course until my next video i will see you guys Next time, thank you all for listening.